guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so we are going to do a simple trick on how to reset the engine control module, and you probably won't need any tools for this. All right, so basically one of the most important functions of your car's uh, ECM is to store long-term data uh, in its memory. So if you drive, the engine computers are constantly working to learn about the way you're driving your car and pretty much will adjust the way um, other modules perform which entails enables your vehicle to run as efficiently as possible because your ECU learns about your driving habits constantly since it has the uh, the ability to store tons of information including your trouble codes which is extremely useful information when diagnosing possible issues with your vehicle um, analyzing this personal data and learning how to reset your ECM are both essential um, to to your car driving uh, as efficiently as it needs to um, if your check engine light comes on, then there are chances that there uh, could be some electrical issues with your car that has to be addressed. So before replacing any parts, you want to reset your ECM to ensure that the part replacements are absolutely necessary. So if there are a couple ways to reset your, your ECM, your engine control module. Um, one way is to disconnect the battery cable for two to three minutes and wait to see if the engine uh, light comes back on upon reconnecting the battery and start the car. Drive the car for at least 10 miles for the ECU to learn. If there is an issue with your car, then the check engine light will come back on. And you can analyze the fault code when the ECM throws. And you can analyze your fault codes with an OBD2 scanner. You can get that from $19 at uh, Walmart. So these codes will guide you towards the root of the problem and you can begin replacing parts to try to fix the issue. Upon installation of new parts, uh, you want to continue to reset your computer so that the uh, engine control can learn t uh, the new parts and store this new data. Uh, make sure that you do not have any battery cable issues and having a backup power supply is handy for you to reset the ECU. So <clears throat> resetting your car's ECU can also be helpful when modifications are done on the vehicle. In, this, uh, in instances like this, you want to reset your engine control modules manually through the fuse box. The fuse box is located on the passenger side next to the battery. Depending on which car you have, it could be located. Uh, also, have multiple fuse boxes uh, in your car. It could be in the trunk. It could be uh, in the under the hood, etc., etc. Depending on which car you have, you gotta look, check out for that. So when your car uh, has probably warmed up, then you want to turn your vehicle back um, back off and unplug both these uh, fuses and uh, pretty much cut the power by disconnecting the battery. Um, after a couple of minutes, all the old data should be reset. So plug the fuses back in and turn your car back on. You're going to want to leave your car at idle for at least 10 minutes, which will give your ECM enough time to learn um, any new modifications uh, installed on your car. Because the auto ECU is such a uh, sensitive device it is very important to reset the unit after modifications are installed or else the new modifications could possibly could conflict with the way the engine performed previously so resetting your car ECU should not be a hassle at all as there are many ways to reset your ECU and there are many more reasons for doing so resetting your car's computer uh, resetting your car computer uh, won't harm your vehicle and should always be done when any replacements are installed like a fuel filter and knock sensor even when you uh, even when after work on your car air conditioning or any diagnostics are performed uh, don't hesitate to check your <clears throat> so all right guys so let me um, tell you guys this all right the most two the two most common ways to reset your car's computer is by either unplugging the battery or by resetting the fuse related to the engine control module. 
um, disconnecting the battery and um, <clears throat> so in a lot of cases disconnecting the battery and turning the car off about 15 minutes should reset the ECU and yes um, ECUs can be reset and be sh and, uh, yeah, you should depending on which car you have you you know uh, uh, different cars will have different guidelines for how to reset the ECU but um, pretty much what I stated uh, is probably the easiest way to do it uh, so just for me to go back and and uh, tell you guys what to do as far as we send the ECU the just unplug the uh, cables from the battery first thing you could plug in OBD2 and pretty much clear all the codes that's the second thing third thing is you could find out where the ECM fuse is and these fuses this fuse could be located anywhere in the car it could be under the hood most of the time it's either in the glove box or on on the driver's side inside the car or it could be uh, in the trunk kind of depending on which car you have but uh, try any of those things um, hopefully this video has helped you guys out and if you guys have any personal uh, experience with this uh, with this issue of the ECM re resetting etc etc definitely leave a comment in the comment section please subscribe give me a thumbs up and all that good stuff All right guys take care